What's up brothers and sisters, how you guys doing? So I wanted to touch on a topic that's very controversial in the truth communities um, concerning the Godhead. Now, I don't want to give you my interpretation of what I believe. I want to read scripture and let scripture speak for itself. I pray to the Father through Yeshua that whoever may watch this video, that the Holy Spirit be brought down upon you and you understand and listen to what I'm going to bring forth. Before we do get into the scripture, here we have the Tetragrammaton Yahuwah, YHWH, which can be broken down to behold the nail, behold the hand. So the Son is revealed through the name of the Father. So who is in heaven? Isaiah 43:11. I even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. Isaiah 45, 21. Tell ye, and bring them near. Let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from that time? Have not I, the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Matthew 26, 64. Jesus say unto them, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter you shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Acts 7, 55-56 But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened up and the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of God. And so, <clears throat> when I first came into this belief of truth-seeking, I, I looked at these as a contradiction. And so I had to dig deeper. Exodus 15, 6. Your right hand, Yahuwah, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, Yahuwah, has dashed the enemy in pieces. Isaiah 41:10. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 63, 5 And I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury upheld me. Isaiah 51, 5 my righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and my arms shall judge the people. The isle shall wait upon me, and on my arm shall they trust. Psalm 98 verse 1 A psalm, O sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. Acts 750 hath not my hand made all these things Isaiah 48 13 my hand also hath laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand has spanned the heavens Psalm 17 7 showeth thy marvelous loving kindness O thou that saveth by thy by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee from those who rise up against them. John 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him nothing was made that was made. John 1.14 And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, of the Father, full of grace and truth. Colossians 2.9 For in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hebrews 3.4 For every house is builded by some man, but he that built all things is God. Revelation 14.7 Saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth, and 
the sea and the fountains of the waters. Hebrews 1, 2 Hath not in these last days spoken, spoken unto us by his Son, whom he, th- who he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds? Hebrews 12, 2 Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despairing shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Knowing that the Son is revealed through the Father, we see here even with the Son's name, Yeshua, his name means the hand that destroys the establishment of the eye. So who is the arm of the Lord? Who is this right arm? Isaiah 52.10 Now listen. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. John 12.38 Now this is John confirming Isaiah. That the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report, and to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? Has the arm of the Lord been revealed to you? Psalm 78, 42. They remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. Acts 72, or 7, 25. For he supposed his brethren would have understood that God by his hand would deliver them, but they understood not. Hebrews, Hebrews 1, 10. And thou, Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. Revelation 1, 17 through 18. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first, and I am the last. I am he that liveth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen have the keys of hell and death. Revelation 22:13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Matthew 1, 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. So, we all know that in Revelation 6:9 that there will be people martyred in the last times for the testimony of the word of the Lord. Now just listen to these last verses and please try to understand. Matthew 10, 32 through 33. Whosoever, theref- whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, I will confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whoever shall deny me before men, him I will also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Con- confess what? Belief in Him. John 8, 24. I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am He, ye shall die in your sins. I am He? I mean, He's saying in, Re- in Revelation that He's the first and the last. The the first and the last what what does that mean that I am he this is quoting the Torah I I pray I pray that you understand and you and you see that even the Jews they didn't understand this that's why John was asking the question who has the arm of the Lord been revealed has the arm of the Lord been revealed to you I pray it has